morning to everyone today uh, today's topic of discussion is insurance and regulatory development authority so i'll so i'll discuss what is iidai so this topic is related to um, insurance sector so um, so today we'll discuss in uh, so i have divided uh, this topic into four parts so this this is the basic introductory part in the next kind of coming videos i will discuss about the functions then mm, the mm, functions internal structure then how it is uh, what are these duties and objectives uh, and finally in the uh, in the last video i'll discuss about how the rda um, manages its fund and how it uh, idea of manages its fund and how it uh, mm, pays out and the salaries and everything and and how does it mm, what are the uh, what are the uh, what are the things that has been mandated by the central government or the ird or, uh, or in the ird act what are the provisions that has been mentioned for the functioning of the ird act insurance and uh, so uh, functioning of ird so let's begin so um, so ird is basically a regulator okay so regulator means uh, it's a body it's a statutory autonomous body which looks after the functioning of the different sectors for example uh, we for the for the entire financial system we have three regulator first is reserve bank of india um, that is the rbi rbi which looks after the the money market and the entire commercial banking system so it comes under the ambit of reserve bank of india and uh, this is responsible rbi is responsible for framing the monetary and fiscal policy for, um, it is also uh, um, also from time to time it decides how much it will be repo rate repo rate bank rate reverse repo rate and uh, what are the um, um, and also decides the interest rates which must prevail over the market so rbi is the sole regulator of the commercial banking system and uh, i will make a separate video on rbi so it will be more clear what are the main functions of rbi so rbi is basically the bankers bank bankers bank and also the the banker to the com also it acts as a banker to the government mm, so so rbi is the mm, uh, first regulator is rbi so second regulator we have is sebi so sebi as we know that uh, securities and exchange board of india it is the regulator of capital indian capital market so um, the um, capital market means where the long term securities are traded so it looks after the the sebi acts as it um, auto acts as a autonomous uh, body uh, autonomous body autonomous statutory body which looks after the functioning of capital market so in uh, so the main part that is the uh, main part that we uh, that we are going to deal in this lecture is IRDAI so insurance and regulatory development authority of india so insurance and regulatory development authority generally looks after the insurance business so insurance and re and also the reinsurance business so in uh, insurance means um, so insurance is um, as you know that insurance is done to just to mitigate any loss um, uh, mitigate any loss or to minimize any loss we take an insurance and reinsurance means suppose uh, a company has insured 100 uh, 100 and the uh, 100 100 policy holders and at the same time the 100 so um, and at the same time the 100 policy holders uh, put a claim and the insurance company is not sure that whether it will be able to uh, able to give out or solve um, able to meet the claims of 100 uh, policy holders so it does what it the, the company takes an insurance from another insurance company so that in event of any loss or in event of any um in event of any uncertainty and if uh, in any uh, an uncertainty if all the policy holders ask um, uh, all the policy holders claims their insurance um, uh, money then it may able to so that it, it is able to meet out so the insurance insurance is done for that so um, so the proper um, so uh, the reinsurance business for uh, to uh, can be taken suppose uh, suppose uh, in um, in a commercial complex 
uh, all the businessmen uh, who are having shops in that take a insurance cover and the insurance cover is to protection uh, insurance insurance peril is, is against any uh, flood so if any any uh, um, flood happens then all the insurance com insurance policy holders all the businessmen who are having the shops in the commercial complex will ask for their claim so so um, if uh, suppose if the insurance company is not sure that it will be able to solve the claims of all the um, all the businessmen who are having a shop in the um, in commercial complex may take a insurance cover from another insurance company that in event of any uncertainty and if the company is not able to cover it then the other company will come to its uh, its rescue so that is reinsurance so um, so if i so irda um, as i mentioned the irda is the regulator of the insurance sector in india so let's let's um, discuss what uh, the background in which uh, background or the pro background in which the irda or the events which force uh, which led to the formation of um, insurance and regulatory development authority of india and so so in the 1993 um, government set up in a uh, set, set up a committee so it was committee was formed uh, to look after uh, the functioning of insurance business so um, it was headed by the then uh, then governor alan manotra so alan manotra was the former governor of rbi so um, so it is a trend that the person who chairs the committee he the committee is named after him so in 1994 kamalhotra committee so alan manotra was the uh, chairperson uh, the, or the chairman of the committee so um, the um, the um, uh, committee was named after him that is in 1994 the committee submitted this report uh, regarding um, the insurance regarding the enhancement of insurance sector so it made some thought provoking uh, recommendation so first recommendation it, g it gave was that private sector must uh, enter in the insurance sector so uh, as we know that prior to the um, prior to 1991 the, it was only the insurance sector was dominated by few insurance companies like LICI, which was a um, uh, which is a state-owned state-owned uh, um, insurance company. Then GIC, uh, then National Insurance uh, Company, then United Insurance Co. So all these uh, um, state-owned or the government-owned um, uh, companies were were, do were dominating the insurance business. But uh, but later when the when India took took up the LPG policy, many new um, and the and the business shores and the Indian business uh, shores were open for both for foreign and direct both for foreign investors as well as for private um, insu uh, private insurance companies within India. So the LIC business or insurance business was open for them. So um, so it recommended that more and more private uh, sector in, in should be should come into the insurance business. Then foreign companies should enter. So as I mentioned that prior to 1991, the foreign companies were not allowed to um, come and invest in India. So it rec so the committee recommended that the foreign companies should be allowed to come and do business in India. Then the third recommendation which uh, they gave the independent regulatory body for insurance sector. So, um, so the committee opined that a uh, fully autonomous statutory body should be there, who should, uh, whose sole purpose should be to um, uh, look after the insurance business and the protection of uh, protection of policyholders, and also um, to look after the orderly development of insurance sector. So, uh, based on the recommendations, the central government passed an act that is IRDA Act, IRDA Act 1900. And 99, and uh, in the 2000 year, uh, soon uh, the one um, soon after the uh, passing of the legislation in the parliament, the IRDA was uh, set up. So in the two, in April 2000, the IRDA came into existence. So the day, the year is very important. So in the 2000, uh, 2000, the IRDA was formed. So the IRDA was is an autonomous statutory body. So autonomous statutory body means. Um, the, um, so there are two types of bodies there one is constitutional body and one is statutory body so constitutional body is if the if the if any legislation is passed and both by the upper house and the lower house and if it is included in the constitution of india then it is a constitutional body and if 
the legislation is passed and by both by the upper house and the lower house and if it is not included in the um, constitution of india then it is a statutory body so it was an autonomous body autonomous body means it has the it means uh, it was fully independent and not um, it is not uh, no one can pressurize it to do anything it is it can frame its own rules and regulation it may um, appoint anyone and it may um, it may appoint any anyone uh, who is capable of of, of uh, looking uh, capable of looking into the affairs of IDI and also time to time it may uh, um, it may frame policy as and and qualifications for the actuaries the intermediaries and the surveyors so it may autonomous means it may act on its own so so the idea was an is an autonomous statutory body so the first objective of idea is to to promote competition to enhance consumer satisfaction so though as i have mentioned that uh, only the few um a few um, um, companies were dominating the insurance sector so the customers did not have any much choice so um, so the if more and more companies or more and more uh, players will come into the insurance business then it will do what it will lead to uh, it will increase the customer choice customer choice when if a company is uh, offering a particular scheme and it is it doesn't suit that that policy holder he may look uh, if the more number of insurance companies are there then then he may um, look look for other company who is giving him a better choice and or uh, which is offering a policy which suits his suits his requirements so uh, so more and more um, policy if there are more number of insurance companies operating in the insurance business then the customer will have more choice so he will have ample of choice so lower premium so though the competition will increase then it will make what it will um, to attract more the customers one company will lower the insurance uh, premium than the other so the uh, the with a low premium the companies will uh, uh, will try to attract more and more customers when by offering better policies better policy cover next we uh, ensure ensure financial security of the insurance market so um, though the insurance is done to mitigate the risk so the people should not fear to invest money in the insurance policy because if they fear uh, that their money is not safe the insurance policy holders or the investors money is not safe then they will do what they will not they will fear in uh, mm, they will fear in investing in insurance policies so so the idea um, job was to uh, to look into whether there are any what is there is any scheme or whether there is any policy which is uh, uh, which may which is detrimental and detrimental to the public interest or it may or the schemes are not framed in a manner that it may hamper the interest of the policy holder so the job of the police uh, idea was to look into that 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 no company is um, uh, offering any policies or uh, which may hamper the interest of the policy holder so the job was to the job of the idea was to look this then the orderly growth of insurance market so um, uh, so on the um, the insurance business will only grow when more there are more number of players there is more number of uh, where there is ample choice of policy with policies then policies are offer offered at a very low premium and uh, there, there is insurance and the policies the money is not uh, money is not uh, being dubbed means money is not being um, you know, siphoned away within uh, in somewhere so if the if all this happens means if all this uh, uh, if all this Uh, thing is taken care of then it will do it will uh, then what will happen it will increase the customer uh, customer con- it will increase the confidence of the customer then more and more will more and more person will invest in insurance policies so it will do what it will lead to the growth of the insurance business to prevent fraud and malpractice as i have mentioned that Mm, that there are many companies the com- there may be companies like which may offer some policies which may which um, may take uh, which may collect the money and after after a certain period it may disappear or um, so the I- idea job is to look into that 
to and to do our ne next job of the idea is to do bring transparency so so idea um, opines to bring more and more transparency so that the insurance policies uh, holders may know what is uh, why the premium is charged so high so what are uh, um, the uh, means that the insurance policy and the idea must create awareness by conducting various insurance um, by awareness programs uh, among the policy holders and also um, it uh, sh also it, it should train the um, train its intermediaries so that uh, they may uh, give a more um, uh, they may um, they may communicate it to the, uh, communicate the policy uh, policy guidelines to the insurance uh, to the policy holders properly so it must be transparent so 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 idea was initially set up when it was uh, established at a, uh, initially at the inception it was headquartered in delhi and later in the 2001 the headquarters was shifted to hyderabad telangana so so uh, when you come to the structure so in this video i will not go into the detail about the function of the idea means the functioning of the, of the idea so well this is just a introductory video or a brief video so in this video we will just uh, um, uh, see what is id in a very synoptic way or very in a summarized way so idea is basically a 10 member committee or 10 member body means uh, it consists of a chairman the chairman, uh, the tenure of the chairman is five years. Means he is appointed for five years, and he is also eligible for reappointment. If the central government thinks that uh, he must uh, continue his office, then he, he might be appointed again. So his term is five years. Then, uh, then it consists of a five full-time directors. Means full-time director means permanent directors. So there are five permanent direct permanent full-time directors whose tenure is also five years. So, um, and um, there are four part-time directors, part-time directors whose tenure is less than or equal to five years. So, um, so this is the uh, basic body of the, uh, this is the body or the internal constitution of IIDA. So, section four of IIDA Act 1999 deals with the structure of IIDA. So, all these uh, members are appointed by the central government so that is also this point is very important who appoints the members of the idea it is the central government who appoints the members of idea or the uh, so so it is the central government who is vested with the responsibility of appointing the members of idea so the what are the functions of idea so basically uh, the idea does what it registers uh, the insurance in, in, insurance and uh, um, insurance com and the companies which is willing to offer insurance policies then issuing renewing it renews the license it issues the license then also from time to time it renews if the uh, if the uh, the term expires uh, then it 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 renews the policy it renews the license then if a if idea feels that uh, the company is not uh, performing well or it is not uh, uh, not obeying or uh, not obeying the rules and regulations is framed by the idea and also uh, if it defies uh, the uh, the orders of the idea then it might do what it might cancel the license of uh, the of that particular company then it also specifies the quali qualification and the, the manner in which they may uh, which uh, they may operate and also provides time to time it provides training pro holds training programs for agents and intermediaries so um, IDAI specifies the qualification what are the qualifications should be there for the surveyors actuaries law assessors then uh, brokers agents all this all these intermediaries um, uh, um, it is specifies their qualification then also uh, the manner they must op they uh, they must perform their job perform their jobs all um, uh, uh, all these guidelines are being set up by the IIDA. So so initially the foreign direct investment foreign direct investment was uh, um, was 26 percent and later it has been raised to up to 49 percent. So in every year. Um, 
uh, this point I am telling for the general um, for the general knowledge purpose. The insurance awareness day is conducted every year in the 19th of April, and at the global level it is celebrated at 28th June. So um, let's see the. So at present the insurance um, the idea is uh, um, is chaired by Dr. Sur Subhash um, C. Kuntia. So he is the present chairman of the IDAI and uh, its whole time members are uh, Mrs. T. L. Alamelu, K. Ganesh, Purnima Gupte, Prabin Kutumbe and Sanjay Banerjee. So all these are the uh, whole time, uh, five whole time directors of or the permanent directors of IDAI. So hope you have enjoyed this video. So with this so thank you with this i come to an end of this lecture session so hope you have enjoyed and uh, thank you very much